this looks like vacation in a palette like this is i'm going somewhere tropical and i want my eyes to match the background of me sitting by the pool hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel or if you're new thanks for clicking on my video so today i have another haul and this one is a little different because i have different stuff that i've never included in hauls before so I'm excited to share some stuff with y'all that I got in. A lot of good stuff on sale. Y'all know your girl loves the sale. So we're gonna jump straight into it. Before we do, if you're new, our family is growing and I would love to have you join. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. We do tutorials, reviews, hauls, and yeah, we have a lot of fun and we spend some money on this channel. But I do it to save you guys from spending money on stuff that's not good, you know? That's why. That's the excuse I'm giving anyway. I won't keep you waiting any longer. If you want to see my collective haul, different stuff that I've picked up lately, then stay tuned and keep on watching. So we're going to start off with a brand that I don't think I have ever featured on my channel. Sigma Beauty had a sale recently. I think it was 30% off. Plus they had stuff that was on sale. And I was like, you know, I'm a little curious. I've heard people talking about the Corda Rosa palette and how good that is. Of course, I've heard people talking about the brushes and how good those are. So I was just like you know what let's venture out we've been talking about you know the difference between higher end brushes although these probably aren't high end like some of the other ones but they're higher end than my elf brushes so I, that basically gives you an idea of some of the stuff that i bought but i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys i do have some brushes the first brush that i picked up this is a b12 bent liner you guys probably can't see that from there but this is an eyeshadow, I'ma need my tweezers. This is not an eyeshadow, sorry. This is an eyeliner brush. I don't normally use gel liners, I use liquid liners and that just makes it easy for me to apply my wings. But I wanted to try something different. So this is what the brush looks like, it is nothing special excuse my hands if they're ashy just a regular nice little bent brush that you can use to apply wing liner i don't know how i'm gonna feel about this but we're gonna give it a try this brush was only a couple dollars so it's not like i spent anything crazy on it i picked that up because i picked up their gel liner this is their stunningly ladylike brown gel liner you guys have heard my struggle about brown liner and how I just want something that is actually brown but still dark enough to look good if I'm doing a wing. So this has a seal. Yeah, I kind of don't want to open it, but I'm going to open it because I want to see if it's actually dark enough. It looks like it is in the, in the jar, but... Yeah, that definitely looks like it's gonna be dark enough. It almost looks black, but it is definitely brown. And I'm going to use, I don't wanna mess up my new brush, but I don't think I have another brush that I can use for that. So we're gonna try it on the new brush. This brush is very flimsy to be trying to do a wing with, but let's see how dark that applies. Yes, that is a brown. That is a brown and it is dark. This is perfect. So now I just gotta figure out. It almost looks black, but it's not, I promise. So that is exactly what I wanted. Thank you, Sigma. I just need to learn how to use a gel liner. Next brush that I picked up is the E44 Firm Blender. This is just a blending brush and I don't know that I've ever specifically like tried to look for blending brushes. I just use what I find guys. I haven't been particular on brushes, but I do, like I said, want to see what the difference is. So this will be, 
Yeah, this is a shorter hair brush and it is a lot firmer than brushes I normally use to do my eyeshadow with. So this will be more for like putting in the outer crease and going into the crease, but maybe blending a little bit, but it's definitely not going to diffuse. So that's different than what I have. So I'm happy about that. Y'all, I'm trying to make sure nothing falls on the floor. Lord help me, too much stuff on this table. Okay, the next brush I got is their large shader brush, their E60. This is a flat synthetic brush, and I'm not sure if, I don't know that I would use this for eyeshadow because it's big. However, cutting my crease, I could see it. Also maybe applying concealer under my eyes, I can see it. So it's a little bigger than what I thought it was gonna be, but I think this would be really good to help cut my crease. So we'll see. Next, I picked up another eyeliner brush in case I didn't like that bent one. This is the E05, and this is just a straight liner brush, and it is a lot more firm than the other one. So this is more like the brush tips that you see on liquid liners. This is what I'm used to using, so this would be more up my alley, but I'm gonna try the other one too. This next one is their Concealer F70 brush. This would be for carving out the brows. This is purple, the other one was purple too. This is more would be for like carving out the brows, also helping to cut the crease. I wouldn't necessarily use this one for concealer under my eyes because I feel like it's a little too small to help blend it out, but I would definitely use this, like I said, carve out the brows and cut my crease. Did I get two of the same? Did I really? I sure did. Well, there's that. I bought another large shader. Is it the same? Yeah, I sure did. This is the E60. So apparently I had large shader brushes on my mind. And then last but not least, this was a free gift. This is the Diffused Crease E38. This is a little mini brush, which I will probably put in my travel bag, but yeah, this is more for blending out the crease. I didn't get a lot in as far as brushes. I just wanted to try a couple of them and ones that I thought I would use a lot before I decided to buy a bunch of them and I didn't like them. They also sent this liquid brush cleanser. This was a free gift. And then, y'all know I had to pick up some eyeshadow palettes, right? I mean, really. I've never tried their palettes, so I picked up one that I think you guys may not be surprised about if you're familiar with Sigma. And then another one that was kind of like, I just want to try this one out. The one that I picked up that I think you may not be surprised about is the Sigma Untamed palette. This is what it looks like. You see it kind of has the zebra, it's a felt kind of embossing on the front. This, just from looking at the pictures, I love the dark, grungy tones of it. And of course, there had to be a green in it. I mean, that's literally like my life. But this is what the palette looks like. Absolutely stunning, these greens, the purples over here, beautiful. This blue is gorgeous. This is like a everyday neutral palette for someone like me who likes color, but like, 2.0 and it also comes with a brush so i think that's great because i've heard really good things about these brushes that's fancy looking so this is a shader brush on one side and then a diffuser crease brush on the other side so got some more brushes in there i kind of want to swatch are we swatching in this video why not let me swatch this purple this is the shade fierce I'm gonna swatch the, sh the green, which is Envy, and then Spirit, and L Dauntless is the blue. So those are what the shades look like there. And then when I swatch them, ooh, that green is smooth. Oh yeah, these colors are pretty. Those are the swatches there. We're not gonna do a bunch of swatches because we'll be here all day. That gives you a hint that I have more palettes. But yeah, I'm excited to use that so you will see that in a video coming up. 
I did get another palette, like I said, and this one, <laughs> I think I got it more for the packaging. This is the Enchanted palette. The colors in it are gorgeous. I haven't swatched it, but yes, I opened it and I looked at them. Um, but just purple, iridescent, holographic, I love it. This one also comes with a brush. So the other one was black and gold. This one's white and silver. And then these shades, y'all. Look at, stop it. look at that. I have to swatch, and you know I'm gonna swatch the foiled ones because I need to know Metamorphosis. Are these toppers? Cosmos. Ooh. And Moonglade and Plume. So those are those shades there. So this is Metamorphosis. That was a crappy swatch. Yeah, that one's more of like a glitter topper shade. I knew they were gonna get me with that. This next one is Cosmos. Gorgeous green, y'all know me and my greens. Moonglade. That is pretty, like a silver lilac. And then Plume. I don't know what to think of this color. Ooh, that's pretty. They look very, very shiny. So I'm thinking with the mattes, the mattes they have in here are pretty basic. There's a brown, there's a kind of terra rust color, a green, a darker brown, a black, and then Innocent is a really good transition shade. You just basically have your basic mattes and then you put those really foiled shiny shades on top and it is gonna transform the look, so. I think this palette is gorgeous and these feel different than anything else I have in my collection. So anytime I can add something different, I get excited about that. Up next, I have some lashes. These lashes are a brand new brand for me. I found them on Instagram and let me pull this up so I don't say nothing wrong because I have a habit of being like, oh, I saw this and then I completely have it wrong. So the name of this brand is Treasure Box Luxury Eyelashes. And their Instagram is Treasure Box Lux Lash. I found out about this brand from a friend. I'm wearing the lashes right now. This is a company, I believe, I keep saying this, and I hope I'm right, that they are based out of Texas. And it is a black owned business, a black woman here in Texas. So of course I wanted to show support for another small business. She has regular lashes and then she also has magnetic lashes. These are the magnetic lashes. Y'all, when I say, I don't know what is in that magnetic liner, it holds. Like this feels like I glued my lashes on, but there are magnets and every box that you ordered so the ones I have on are called Sardonics. I'll put a picture. These right here are called Amethyst. These are magnetic and they come with liner. Each pair comes with liner, so I love that. And these are just a very nice, they're not too full, but they're still kind of thick. I like that they're long, but they're not thick. I don't like lashes that look like they're literally just sitting on your eye like this. Give me some space to show my eyeshadow, but still a little something to give me a little drama. That's what these are. The other pair that I got that are magnetic are called gold. These are a little different than what I normally wear. They are a little more clustered, but I think I'm gonna like this look. I haven't tried anything like this yet, so I will try them on in a video for you guys to see. One thing I will say, if you have smaller eyes, which apparently I do, these lashes are a little too long. The magnetic ones, you can't cut them because you'll cut off one of the magnets. So I kind of just drew the liner out a little further on my eye. And instead of following the normal curve of my eye to make the lashes more downturned, I just kind of drew it out some and stuck it to that. You can't really see it 
but it's not following the natural curve of my eye. That was how I was able to make these work because if I put it too far in to kind of make it fit, then it started sticking me, my eyes started watering. That was a no. So with the regular lashes, I ordered two pairs. I ordered Jade and Royalty. Both of these I had to cut to make them fit. This is Jade. So again, another pair that has a nice length to it and just add a little bit of drama, but again, not too thick. And then this one is also a bit different because it's curly. This is the royalty pair. I don't know if you guys can see, I'm trying to put it where you guys can see it, but this is, she's curly. Like I don't normally wear lashes like this, but I didn't want to just keep buying stuff that I normally wear. So I did cut these already, but I have not worn them. The next, this is a different brand. I told you we got a bunch of different brands in here. The next brand is Melt Cosmetics. I feel like Melt's been getting a little bit of heat lately. A lot of people didn't like the Mary Jane eyeshadow palette. I personally loved it. Yes, the shadows are a little more flaky, but to get them to apply, once you put them on with your finger, better with your finger than a brush, it's almost like you have to work them into the lid. It does take a little work, but the way it looks makes it so worth it. That's just my take. I picked up, I don't remember if it was 20% off or 30% off, but I picked up another cream blush, which y'all gonna laugh at me. I don't think I tried the other ones yet. Actually, I only have one, Sandy Cheeks. I have Sandy Cheeks. And when I bought that one, I felt like it was gonna be too light. And then I put it on and it's more just like a everyday, no makeup, makeup look kind of color. This one, this is the shade Daydreamer. She has some pigment. This color is so gorgeous. This is like, I literally, every time I can get a shade like this, I want it. It's like a brick, not really a brick, yeah, a brick red, but a little brown to it. And I just think, yeah, you can see the shade there. Like that's gonna be the perfect, like that looks like it would go well with what I have on today, especially with this lip. This is my Mary Kay, Oh, it's a downtown brown. I'll list it on the screen. I'm bad at that. But one of the Mary Kay liquid lipsticks that I said I needed to try. But yeah, this is the kind of payoff that I want from a cream because once they blend out, they sheer out a little bit. So I can't have it start off sheer. That's not going to work for me. I did pick up a palette. I love Mel Cosmetics palettes. I know there are some that didn't do well, like the, uh, I don't know the name of it, but the one that had the pinks in it, not the purples. She's in Parties is amazing. But the one that had the pinks got bad reviews from a lot of people. I picked up 420. What I didn't realize when I picked this up, this is what the packaging looks like, was that, hold on, I'm gonna show y'all. First of all, how cute is this? It's a holograph. Is it moving? I hope it's moving. Yeah, you see it up here, how this is moving around. Um, what I didn't know, and you gotta be careful because it's like these shades, you see how there's already a mess in my pan? I haven't opened this, haven't used these yet. That yellow is kind of breaking up. There is only one shimmer shade in here. And I did not know that because I don't know that I would have bought it had I realized that. I wasn't paying attention. It's the shade here called Shatter. That is the only one. The rest of them are mattes. I don't think I'm, I'm not gonna say like I'm disappointed. Now I wanna swatch it, of course, because I love their mattes and their shimmers, but their shimmers are really, really good. The mattes are just like super pigmented. I just, it was between this one and then, what's the one that's like green and brown? I'm having a brain fart, I'm sorry. I'll put it on the screen, but there was another one that I think, that I was thinking about getting. That's the only shimmer in there called Shatter. Um, that I was thinking about getting and I was like, Barbara, you have enough greens, gravitate towards something else. This shotgun, neon, oh my goodness. Let me swatch the yellow too. This is wax. Those two shades right there, those were part of the reason I gravitated towards this palette. 
This is shotgun right here. So definitely a neon green. And then I'll put the other underneath. This is wax. I'm sorry if you guys can hear the construction. This is wax here, shotgun, wax. Definitely enough differentiation in the colors that it doesn't feel like I got two of the same things. But again, I wish I would have <laughs> I wish I would have paid more attention because I prefer to have more mattes than I do. I mean, I prefer to have more shimmers than I do mattes, but I know I'm getting good mattes with this palette, so not necessarily a bad thing, just like I said, not what I was expecting. Next, I hit up the BoxyCharm pop-up store. They opened up their pop-up shop to where, or their add-ons, whatever it's called, to where anybody could purchase, whether you were subscribed or not. I feel like I deserved it. So I didn't get a lot, actually. I only picked up four things. The first is another magnetic pair of lashes. This is the Moxie Lash Happy Lash. Hadn't heard of this brand, hadn't tried them. This one does not come with a liner, but I hope that other one works. So I'm gonna just show you an example when I talk about the size of them. So these definitely look like they will fit my eyes. They are a lot smaller. So if you look at how the width of these, they just look long compared to these here. So that's what I was talking about in terms of them not fitting. I just wanted to try something magnetic besides the drugstore ones that I had been using. And I think these were like $4, $5, something like that. I also picked up a Marc Jacobs Brow Wow Duo. This is the Brow Powder Pencil and Tinted Gel, and you get a pencil refill. I initially, when I got this in, I was like, did I buy another Marc Jacobs eyeliner? This is in 08 Dark Brown, and I've never tried any Marc Jacobs Brow products. I don't remember hearing a lot about them either. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. So this is, I guess, yeah, this is the pencil refill. So they actually give you a refill for the brow pencil itself. And it comes separate in this little case here. But then also this is the pencil. So I don't know what I'm doing, Lord help her. Okay, so the top pops off. This is the first pencil and it's a fatter pencil than your standard brow which I prefer, so I'm okay with that. Shade-wise, this is what it looks like here. Am I pointing to the right spot? <laughs> so a little, I think that'll be dark enough. And then on this side, it says powder pencil. I was like, where is there a powder? There's a brow gel, which I don't have any gel in my brows. Oh, okay. Yeah, that definitely has some color to it. I did not set my brows earlier, so let's go ahead and do that now. But I think it's good to have this together in one. I think this would be great to travel with, so it will go in my travel bag. The next thing I picked up from them, I was pretty excited about this because I've heard a lot of good things about this brand. This is Alamar Cosmetics. I picked up their Hydrating Complexion Trio. This is a contour bronzer and a highlight. This is in the shade Golden Hour, Cinnamon Sugar, and Oi Morena. It says use the brightening shade to illuminate under the eyes, the bronzer shade to add warmth, and then the deeper shade to create depth around the cheekbones, forehead, and jaw. So go ahead and swatch these. I don't know about that under the eyes being orange. Ooh, this, this is what the shades look like. And then I'll go ahead and swatch. Actually, that might not be that bad, but together, this would be, it ain't going under my eyes today. I had enough stuff on, but that bronzer shade is really good to add some warmth and that'll definitely contour. It's a little warm to be a contour. Normally it's more of a gray shade, but we can definitely make that work. It reminds me a little bit of the Beauty Bakery, I know what I wanna talk about, but I can't think of names. I will put that on the screen as well, but I actually keep that face palette in my bathroom and I use that one pretty regularly. The last thing I picked up, I told you guys, I was waiting for this to come in. 
This is the last of what I'm gonna pick up for right now. This is the ABH Norvina collection. This is volume number three. So we now have one, two, three, and five. I remember when this one came out, I thought about it for a second and I was like, do we want that? And I was like, Barbara, don't be extra. For $60, you do not want that. For $30 though, and we know the pigmentation, we know the quality, yes, we want that. I have not swatched this. I opened it when it came in, I stared at it, and I was like, I cannot wait to film my haul so I can swatch because this is just, it is beautiful. Greens, oranges, reds, browns, little bit of purple, life. These colors, I'm swatching C5, B1, C1, D5 and E5. These are all shimmers. I always just swatch the shimmers. We know how mattes work, we get it. And then I'll go ahead and, oh yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Look at that. This looks like vacation in a palette. Like this is, I'm going somewhere tropical and I want my eyes to match the background of me sitting by the pool. Like this is beautiful. Is it just me or when you're filming a haul, do you save the best for last? I can't help it because I get excited and I wanna get the other stuff out the way because I feel like I'm gonna talk a lot. Pat McGrath, summer sale, 30% off. I told you guys, you have to wait. I was a little disappointed because of course, none of the new stuff with the, the divine blushes and any of the stuff that came out with that launch were included in the sale, but that's all right. Cause I can wait for the next one. I picked up some of the older stuff, but either way it was stuff I had been looking at. I picked up one of the matte liquid lipsticks, the liquid lust legendary wear matte lipstick in the shade spellbound. I do have Divine Rose and I like it, but I do feel like it is really pink and I wanted to wear it when I did my full face of Pat McGrath, but it was too pink. So I decided to get this one because it is still a nude, but it's more of a peachy kind of brown nude. I could probably put a little bit on with right now. Mm, yeah, so it's still a little pink. I feel like everything with her is like super pink or super nude, but you know what? Yeah, see this can still go with the look I have now. I love these, they are dry. They say legendary matte, they are definitely dry, but the formula is really thin and it's still super opaque. I love this, I love this shade. I knew it was gonna be a favorite and I don't know why I didn't pick it up the first sale, but I got it this time. The next thing I picked up is the, oh baby, I told y'all, the Dark Star Mascara. I got a small one in my fragrance sampler from Sephora. Fell in love with it as soon as the sale came. That was the first thing I put in my cart. I'm not opening this, but yep, I got a big one. This mascara, literally the first swipe, I was like, whoa. If you have not tried this, if you can get it, get it because it is really good and it is worth the money. Last but not least, until she comes out with something new, I think I have collected all of the Mothership palettes that I want. I picked up Mothership One Sublime. When I tell y'all, let me tell y'all a quick little story. This was actually the first one that I bought. And I got it home and I was like, why did you pick that up? These are not colors you would wear every day. That was a waste of money. And I brought it back. I brought it back and then when Mothership 5 Bronze Seduction came out, I was like, okay, you and your warm tones, that is what you should have bought, go get it. And then I bought all the other ones and then I was like, how do you not have the one that has the green in it? This is absolutely beautiful. I don't want Decadence because that's the one with all the shimmers and I don't want Divine Rose 1 because the shades are just super light and I don't care. I like Divine Rose 2. I got this for the green. I got this. Oh. See, this shade actually kind of feels like one of the shades in Enchanted. This is like, it's still gorgeous. And these, her special shades, we all know. This one is more of a topper. 
The other shades, let me see what this gold is hitting for. I'm just watching the special shades. We know her matte formula is insanely pigmented. The satins are gorgeous as well. I'm gonna swatch one of them. I mean, we all know Pat McGrath, right? Do y'all really need to swatch? Oh, this shade right here. I really let that sit all these all this time and never picked up this palette. That green is gorgeous. This is one of the satins. I'm not sitting here going through all the names and all that stuff because this is an older palette. I'm sure if you love Pat McGrath, you probably have it or have seen it. So I don't need to do all that. But this one is going to go on my vanity. Next up, these I am excited about. Okay. Terra Moon Cosmetics. I ordered when they had their pre-order months ago. You had to wait for everything to ship. Mine came in. Y'all, why I lost my mind? All of the multi-chrome shadows that I have, I don't wear them. I need to, like I need to do looks with them, but for whatever reason, I collect them. And then I'm just like, oh, these are special occasion and I don't wear them. I picked up some singles and I picked up some multi-chromes. <laughs> I hadn't bought anything from this brand before, so I was like, you're gonna order, go ahead and order now, because if you gotta pay for shipping and all that. So as far as the multi-chromes, I will try to put, I should have put these all together. Let me do that. All right, got them all sorted, and I picked up this Morphe Empty Magnetic Palette in another haul that y'all will see later, because I'm waiting for some stuff to come in. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and open this because I do want to take these out of the pack and put them in a palette. So we're going to start with the shimmers first. Actually, we're going to start with this one. This is a Orion's Belt, which is, I don't know, it says the description on it is different on the invoice than it is, than everything else is. It says Cosmic shadow which i don't know the difference but trying to make sure this doesn't fall out this is what the shadow looks like it is not a multi-chrome but as you can see it is still very foiled and pretty Ooh, y'all we about to be swatching all day what is that they said that's not a multi-chrome i guess it's not but i do see some shifts in there there's a little bit of green to blue and then there's gold. This is gorgeous. This is just a regular shimmer. This is Illusion. So this is what this looks like. It says it's not a multi-chrome, but I feel like they still kind of have a little something going on with them. Hadn't swatched this one yet either. This is kind of like that a little bit, not really. It doesn't have the shift, but like that blue-brown kind of green. I don't know, I just thought it was gorgeous. You can see it's like a little red around the edges on my finger. Next up, we have Interstellar. And this one is also just, it says it's just a shimmer. But I see, this is a multi-chrome. I don't understand. What's the difference between a multi-chrome and these shimmers? Because they all... Green and purple, my two favorite colors. Oh, how, how? Oh my God. Terra Moon, I had not, I'm sorry. I didn't find you before. This is gorgeous. Like look in the pan, It. you see what it's doing. Oh, this is gonna be a long haul because I can't, I need to show y'all all of this. Next, we have Hot Spice Cider. I picked up greens, I picked up blues, I picked up purples, reds, all of it. Hot Spice Cider, again, says it's just a shimmer, but you guys see. I could live in eyeshadow. I don't even know how that's possible, but I'm trying to figure out like how I'm gonna organize them. I can do that later, I know. I'm just too excited. Okay, next we have Martian. Wipe off my fingers. Ooh, this is like a green, gold. A little bit of red underneath, let's see. 
I don't know. It's like, yeah, you see that. When I first put it on, it's like, oh, that's just a green. But then you move it and it looks a little different. I don't know, but that's a gorgeous color. On my finger, it looks like it has a little red around the edges. You see when I move it. I'm just sitting there shaking my head because I feel like with these shadows, you can literally buy one matte palette and then have all these shades and you will be set for life. Is this the last eyeshadow I'm gonna buy? Probably not, but you could if you were trying to like not be a hoarder collector. This next one is Dirty Martini, which I actually like to drink. And I was like, ooh, olive green. I don't think this one's gonna be as shifty as the others, but it's still just anything green for me. Yeah, this is just a pretty much straight up olive green, but absolutely gorgeous. So now I don't know what we just went through, but I haven't even gotten to the multi-chromes yet. So let's check those out because <laughs> I'm ready to have my socks blown off. This is Mood Ring. I'm trying to be patient and be like, I hope y'all can see that. It'll show better on my hand because it's looking super green. Oh my God. Ah, I'm trying to be calm. Look at that. Why am I whispering? I feel like it shows better on my finger when I show you guys like that. This is insane. Okay. Oh my goodness. How many greens did I get? All of them. Let's swatch a different color family. This is Fortune Teller. It's not blue. It is purple. And it is looking super blue, but it depends on how you turn it. Right here, we look in a little purple, then we go straight to blue. They're just so smooth, I don't understand. Look at that blue. Look at that purple. You see it like, oh my God, how sway, how? Look at my finger. I don't know if I'll ever be able to go back to regular eyeshadows again or any other brand that talks about making multi-chrome. I like, um, I think it's Makeup Maniacs. They also do really good multi-chromes. I have some of theirs, but I bought them in loose pigment form because I wanted to use them with my Maron Mixing Medium. Haven't done it yet. Ain't even gonna lie. This next shade is Sun Dazed. So it looks red. It's like a gold to red. Why does it look purple? It is not purple. It's like a copper to gold to green. I hope these colors are showing. I feel like I can see it, but so beautiful. There it is on my finger. It's a different family, shade family we haven't done yet. All right, next we have another green, Mirage. I think I just wanted like every green because they all shifted to something different that don't look green, but it is. Look at my finger. Look at that. Y'all aren't even seeing the green, I don't think. I can't see it on camera. I don't understand there. You see it there, you see some green, but when you look at it like that, there is no green at all. I want to put this on my eye right now because I feel like it would match this lip. Woo! I don't know if I should put this with greens or purples. It <laughs> insane green or red or what? All right, next we have which one is this? Moonwalk. This is a blue to green, I believe. I love how they package these because these are not falling out. I'm not worried about anything breaking or yeah love shades like that it just looks like gold like liquid foil huh so this you see green but you see blue you also see purple that turquoise is gorgeous though 
We got three more. <laughs> Next we have Looking Glass. It's also another greenish, bluish, purplish. I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna come off. Let's see. <sighs> Oh my God. Yo, where have I been? Why have I not? I feel like I'm just finding eyeshadow all over again. You can't tell me that it's not beautiful. I don't know if I should put this with the greens or the blues. Two more, we almost done. The next one is Head Rush. This one is purplish. It looks purple, but who knows what it'll swatch. It's like a purple to green to gold. Y'all. You see that? Oh my God. And it's like, it's so thick. You don't see through this at all. And I'm not even digging in them hard. That's what I love. One more. This last one is Alter Ego. Oh, jeez. I don't know. I'm so mad I'm late to this bandwagon. This looks like a blue purple again. This is like a great. I'm going to put this one up here. Yeah. Doesn't even look purple right now, but it is blue purple. You see it right there. Oh my God. I'm late to the bandwagon, but baby, these are beautiful. And now I want more. Now I have a little palette. This is where all my special shadows are gonna go. All right, these last products I have, I said I was saving the best for last, that was makeup. We're doing a little bit of a hair haul. We can talk about the unit I have on. Nothing special. I will see if I can link it in the um, description box below. But this is actually a headband wig that I got from Amazon. It said that this was 16 inches. I think this is closer to 14 inches. And when I first got it before I washed it and styled it, I felt like, like the edges are a little thin compared to the headband wig that I got from Love Me Hair. But that one was also 16 inches and it was a lot longer. So I started to send this one back and then I was like, you know what, I'm gonna keep it because it's shorter and I feel like if I want something that's not gonna be as poofy or just, you know, a little easier, stays more tame, I'll just keep this one and then keep the Love Me Hair one for special occasions. And the Love Me Hair also you can wear straight or curly. Go check my video out if you didn't see that. But I have another wig. I just bought this one. <laughs> This is what the packaging comes with every, I have two wigs, with every Love Me Hair package. You get the same thing pretty much in every single box, unless they're running some kind of special. This first one, I am gonna insert a picture. This is the Chestnut Brown 180 Density Glueless Frontal Wig. This is what the wig looks like straight out the pack. This color is so pretty. As you can see, it is lighter. It is a chestnut brown. And then this is a frontal. So it does have the lace from ear to ear. It is pre-plucked, but these knots are not bleached. It has a center part, but you can, yeah, you can part it any way that you want. It does have two combs in the front and then a comb here in the middle and then also a comb in the back. And then of course you have your adjustable straps. And this one also does have an adjustable elastic band in it. So you probably, can you wear this glueless? It says glueless, which is probably why they put the band. So I do plan on doing an install with this one on my channel as well. But yeah, I got this one for the color. She is thick. Normally the wigs that I get are 150 density. So this one is a little thicker but I just, I was here for the color and that's why I got hers. And then the next one, this is the most recent purchase. This one is their, I've been really into like big curly hair. And when I first started wearing wigs, I was like, no, you need to get stuff that looks like your hair. You're not doing big hair. You don't want it to look too fake. You don't want it to look too different. 
Baby, listen, I can style my own hair and make it look like my hair. And I can throw on my little headband wig. So this one is their Afro Curly Undetectable Invisible Lace Glueless Frontal Lace Wig. I picked up this one because it says it is real HD lace. This is my, I think this is my first HD lace. But I also wanted to try a different texture. And I'm kind of nervous about it because baby, this is definitely like, I always wondered what I would look like with like a fro or if I actually stopped relaxing my hair. I ain't gonna run my fingers through this too much. This says HD lace. I'm trying to see what the difference is. Uh, it's a little lighter. Let's see. Uh, so when I put that on my skin, okay hd i don't see the lace so that's what hd means a lot of times with the wigs you're paying more money for the type of lace that they have also for the type of hair this one does come pre-plucked um i don't know if the knots are bleached this feels a little rough though i don't know why that is is it because they're bleached no these knots ain't bleached no ma'am okay well the front of it is Definitely, because you can see that the strands are a little lighter. So the front of it is bleached, but here more towards the center is not. It has the little baby hairs in the front, but y'all, this texture. <laughs> I cannot wait. I got this one in, I think I got 16 inches or 18 inches. I don't remember. I'll put it on the screen. I think it's 16 because I didn't want to get it too long. It was also more expensive. But yeah, I'm excited. This is also going to be an install that I do on YouTube. So I will show you this one. And the last stuff I'm just going to run through real quick. I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that I have picked up. Like I said, I want to start doing more hair videos. So I am going to try to actually get good and do all this stuff to install. So I picked up this little bowl and mixing spatula to mix the bleach in for when I bleach the knots. I also picked up a set that came with these gloves. I like using a flat iron to do my curls because the curls last longer, but I always burn my damn hand. So I picked up these gloves to be able to hold on to the wand or to the barrel of the flat iron and not burn my hand so much. It also came with these clips, which I have used whenever I'm cutting the lace on my wig. And then I got all this stuff on Amazon and it also came with two rat tail combs. And I think this whole set, and it also came with this mat that you can put your flat iron on to keep it from burning your countertop. And you can also store it inside of here. I think this whole thing was like $12 or something on Amazon. So I wanted to get something to be able to do my installs and have everything set up right here. I did also pick up both of these, which I plan on using for my installs. This is the Even Wonder Lace Bond. This is the adhesive spray. This is the extra firm hold. This is the extra mega hold. This one says active, so it's supposed to be more long wearing. None of this stuff is waterproof. I'm gonna tell y'all now. When I take my wigs off, I use alcohol in the front, but then I also use water and that helps to break up the adhesive to where you're not pulling your edges out. But this stuff actually comes off fairly easy. I just like the nozzle on this better than I do the got to be because I feel like the got to be just, it spreads out more when it comes out and this is more concentrated when you apply it. I also picked up the, this Batiste Dry Shampoo Plus. This has a hint of color, it's for dark hair. I got this because with synthetic wigs or any wigs that are really silky and shiny, if you spray them with dry shampoo, it helps dull down the shine so that they don't look as fake. Um, or, you know, a lot of people just don't like that texture. And I don't like super silky straight wigs. So I decided to get this instead of regular dry shampoo because it is for dark hair and it doesn't leave as much of a white cast. I did also pick up this synthetic wig leave-in conditioning spray. I do have two or three synthetic wigs that are not human hair and those tend to get more tangled on the ends. So I just wanted to try this because it was made specifically for synthetic wigs. I've never used it, so not sure, but I'll keep you updated. 
I did buy this Shimmer Lights. This is the Clairol Blonde and Silver Shampoo. I've been doing my research. If you bleach the knots on a wig, you do need to use a purple shampoo to tone down the brassiness because it will look like orangish kind of yellow and you don't want that. So this is just to help fix that. I'm telling you, your girl is ready. I got my bleach. This is the BW2. It says powder lightener in extra strength from Clairol. And then I got my developer. I decided to go with a 30 volume. 20 is, well, I think 10 is the first. 20 is what they said, start with beginners. Most of the people I watch use 40. So I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and do 30. It really just, this will determine how long you need to leave the bleach on to dye the knots. So if you do 20, it's gonna take a little longer. If you do 40, it's gonna be really fast. So I thought this would be a good go between. This last thing I picked up, I think her name is Lovely Brianna. I watched one of her old videos and she was talking about if you have a wig and you can actually like in the part how you can see the screen door, you can see the lace, you can see the little holes. She suggested using this medical grade silicone tape and it's basically just a scar tape if you put this on the wig, it actually helps to hide the grids in the lace. I have not tried it yet, but when I tell you, I will let y'all know ASAP. I saw it in her video. It looked good. This is an alternative. Instead of getting a fake scalp, you can use this and it will help to hide that to make it look a little more realistic. So I'll probably use this in one of my videos just for you guys to see what it looks like. All right, guys, that is it. I feel like I've been talking forever. I probably have. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but that is my little collective haul. We had hair stuff. We had makeup. All of those eyeshadows. I don't know if I'm going to take this off. I'm going to have to take it off because I'm wearing white and my clumsy self will get it all over my clothes. But just look. Look at how pretty. I can't wait to show you guys these in real time on my eyes in a video. You will see it soon. Thank you. If you're still here, comment below. Let me know you made it to the end. I love hearing from the people who say that they stay to the end. Y'all are the real G's. Y'all are the fam. Thank you. I will see you guys in my next video. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and I will talk to you soon. Bye.